performance star wars battlefront gaming pc in part one i talked briefly about these parts i'm going to be doing separate reviews of each of them however just so you know here's the parts list i also have details of these parts on my webpage. i'll add the link below so you can uh, see that and here's a quick look at the machine again part one i show a little bit more so switch over to part one if you haven't seen it um, we're going to run some more benchmarks now on these uh, default system specs on the FX8370, okay, that runs up to 4.2 gigahertz with turbo enabled. I've got the MSI 990 FXA gaming board and 16 gigs of DDR3 from Kingston, the Savage Edition, running at 2133 megahertz, and of course the AMD R9 380X. Now, some benchmarks starting off with Fire Strike, so these are um, basically synthetics benchmarks that give you a good uh, comparison. With other cards that I've reviewed, you can check the scores online as well. Fire Strike Extreme, again, here are the results. And of course, on PC Mark uh, 8, I did also an overall system benchmark when you can have it. Pause the screen if you want to see these results at your own um, you know, pace. Here is a game Dirt Rally Racing, you know, the benchmarks again on high graphic settings. Uh, we're running these games high and ultra high, nothing lower than that. Um, here's Tomb Raider, of course, always running it on Ultra, and uh, frames per second on basically every game has been pretty much on average 60 um, frames per second and higher, uh, if even. Uh, I, it doesn't even go down to 60, it's always been higher, and I love playing games like Fallout 4, okay, you can see there how smooth that is, and even if you want to run it at uh, 1440p and on a larger display, um, higher resolution it's still very very smooth so great job on this R9 380X delivering the performance that you need Crisis 3 has always put a lot of graphic cards you know the NVIDIA's the AMD graphic cards that I reviewed in the past it puts it to the test that Crisis engine I swear it's like one of the toughest out there to really uh, get high frames per second and this is actually pretty darn good running the game on high and uh, if you are curious about the Star Wars Battlefront game and the benchmarks that I took on this machine, watch part one because I go through all the mission uh, types that I did benchmarks on, whether it's multiplayer, single player, and uh, it was just uh, the sweetest thing to play. So um, if you haven't seen part one, uh, I recommend you watch that. And if you want details and you've seen already part one, uh, on this game PC, click here now so you can go to my webpage and get um, all the details on uh, the parts. I'd like to thank the following brands again for providing all these parts. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, may the force be with you.